Hello, everyone. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rachel Atriki. Um, I'm a level six adult nursing student. As you can see, it's written, I love nursing. Um, I'm a course rep, I'm a global uh, majority ambassador and an international student. EcoSoup is actually a social venture run by students. EcoSoup addresses the issue of food waste and it was actually established in 2016. The question is, what is eco, what is soup? British like soup and EcoSoup was actually created because the food waste in the UK alone causes about 8% of greenhouse gases emissions. It's just about getting up every morning, picking up a whole box of pasta, 500 grams, and then just dropping it in the bin. That's the whole point. That's how much food waste happens in the UK. And Lee's Becker Student Union aims to actually eradicate such. And so EcoSoup was created. And there's a surprising twist to this. So food waste produces 8%, as I stated, of global greenhouse gases emission. When food breaks down at line mail sites, it releases harmful greenhouse gases into atmosphere. We all complain about our, like the weather temperature, it's raining, it's supposed to, the sun is supposed to be out. Why? We are causing it. We are damaging our environment. We tend to cook meals that we don't finish, hence just go straight into the bin. Now, Leeds Becker Studio Union goes like, I'm an international student. I'm coming. I'm actually having a part-time job because I'm a nursing student. So I need to have a part-time job. And I have to go for placement. I have to go for lectures. Why then do I have to think of cooking before coming in? The whole point is to just relieve you of that stress. Alleviate that pressure of having to make sure you have a cooked meal. So all you need to do is just to pick up your empty bowl, come to school, and then just get your soup, tea, coffee, anything from the eco, like, eco soup shop and it's actually pay as you feel you be like wait what we say pay as you feel because we value you you are our main focus it's not just about our gain it's about being able to provide warm meals and look at our current economy things are hard we're all struggling and the little that least Becker can actually do which would also in turn help our environment is to help reduce food waste. Hence, you don't have to think of cooking and probably may not being able to finish it at the end of the day. So what do you have to do? Come to EcoSoup and then just fill your tummy. And we actually cater for halal. It's vegan friendly, lactose free. It's actually vegetarian friendly, gluten free. And a big part of it is pay as you feel. As I said, you are a student be an international home student. Why should we actually cause so much pressure in terms of come and spend more than what you would have planned to spend just because you're on campus? It's even 10p will take it. And that 10p goes into the zero shop, as my previous colleague actually spoke about. The money that we get doesn't go into our pockets. It goes to help us sustain zero shop that helps alleviate our financial burden. It's all about sustainability. And the question is, is it sustainable? Why is it not sustainable? Coming to school with an empty bowl, getting a full pot of soup, and you can just pay 10p. Why is it not sustainable? Tell me about it. How much do we actually spend on gum? But you get on compost, you can get hot soup, hot coffee, hot tea, and very soon I would be actually baking some bread and making some cakes. Exactly, and they are all healthy. Smoothies, and it's all pay as you feel you are not obliged to pay any like too much just 10p 20p whatever it is just pay for it and, and that's it if you don't even have it we're still willing to provide warm meal for you as a student eco soup you know people are like oh eco soup eco soup eco soup so it's actually a social environment it creates volunteering opportunities it's a place for creativity because as I told you, I'm a creative person. I don't come around, you don't have good tasty soup because it's Rachel's recipes. It's all up in my head. I create it as I go. I never really write anything down, I must tell you. But I think one person actually knows my secret, that's Dev. Uh, but he, he, he has to keep quiet about it. Yes, and we're also saving the planet. When I say volunteering opportunities, what do I mean? 
So the NMC requires student nurses to actually have 2,300 placement hours. And we are also mandated to actually have 225 volunteering hours aside our placement hours. And the Lee Specker Student Union have unknowingly created that kind of space for us. My colleagues and I do come in to actually volunteer on days that we are able to. And at this point, we don't have to go looking or scouting for places where probably it might not be so conducive as you, for you as a student to go and have your placement hours. You can easily volunteer with the school and there's nothing to like. You don't have to go through any RICS review. It's just and it's always at your own pace. What else would we want? Which other university would actually create such an environment? And by so doing, they're still saving the planet. Coming to EcoSoup, creating a whole social environment because we're always on our phones. These are all causing global warming. But in this case, we tend to actually have this whole social engagement, have interaction with people because we are losing such focus. It's creating that kind of familiness that we have right now. Who wouldn't want to be at EcoSoup? And there, my experience with EcoSoup, it's been amazing. And I'm sure you've actually had a feel about my experience I've had with EcoSoup. I can't even begin. The fact that every morning I wake up and I'm coming and all I could think of, oh, I'm gonna meet new people, I'm gonna meet new volunteers. Because when I started EcoSoup, it was just me. That was this year, because after the pandemic, the whole place was closed. And the thought of having to engage others in EcoSoup to help bring us as a community, to help raise awareness of global warming and sustainable practices, that has been it. It's been challenging. Well, that was my lactose intolerance days. But right now, I get to have soup, I get to have tea, coffee, and I don't have to worry about anything. Thank you very much. <laughs>